hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be organizing several different areas within my apartment using the new home edit walmart collection bins and organizers this is a project i have been waiting for so long to take on i'm really excited i checked probably four walmarts around me before realizing they must just not have stocked uh, their home edit collection bins at the walmarts near me but that's okay. I finally ordered them online and had them come in. So I was super excited to start to use them in a couple of different spots around my apartment. If you are new to my channel, be sure you hit the red subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload. I don't know if any of you are home edit lovers out there too, but after the first season aired on Netflix, found their Instagram account, started following, it was really hard to get any bins uh, in stock at the container store. And that said, they were pretty expensive if you could find them in stock. So I was super excited about the Walmart collection where you can buy individual bins, but you can also buy their sets that they call their edits. So I went ahead and ordered one of the laundry edit and one of the pantry edits so that I could get a variety of bins and each edit set was only $25. So it's pretty crazy. I think I ended up with something like 13 different organizers for $50 total. So what came in the different edits I got? I got a turntable. I got one of the pantry risers. Got these great large bins that allow you to access what's in the lower bin without having to unstack them, which is such a great feature. And then just some more standard medium and large bins. What's nice that you see here is they all are interconnectable. You can stack them, you can put some of the smaller bins as inserts inside a larger bin, you can stack those smaller bins on top of themselves within the larger bin, so it is super customizable within any of the sets that you get, or if you decide you like a specific type of bin, you can always order more of those one-off later. The first area that I started with was under my kitchen sink. This is an area that I have organized a little bit before without the use of bins, just trying to keep all of the different cleaners I have from completely taking over the space. But as you'll see, as I take everything out, there's a ton that I have put under the sink. And honestly, this was a good excuse to go in and kind of clean out, get rid of old cleaners um, and clean the space with um, a vacuum and some all purpose spray as well. But this is something I knew the fact that these bins stacked on top of one another, it would be really beneficial because on the left-hand side under the sink, there's definitely good height that I'm not taking advantage of right now. Um, as long as I'm dodging the garbage disposal, it's kind of wasted space. So being able to stack these bins on top of one another was a feature I was really excited about. this trash bag storage hack used before so I wanted to give it a try in these bins since they have those handle inserts that if you put your garbage bags in the bin you can then just like kind of pulling out a new Clorox wipe or the next tissue in the box you can put your next garbage bag through the handle and use it to pull out evenly and keep that string going love about organizing spaces and using new organizers is that it is kind of like solving a puzzle. You're not always going to figure it out on the first try. I often do a lot of trial and error. You will see me put something in, think it's how I'm going to want it to look, and then I will take it out, trade it out for something else. And honestly, I don't even have all the outtakes of kind of testing and trying in these videos, but I find it is kind of really satisfying when you finally get your space organized in a way that is 
one aesthetically pleasing but also is going to be super functional for you and your specific needs. putting the bins in, taking the bins out, putting them back in in a couple of different configurations before I found one that I felt like worked well for the space. I was able to take advantage of some of the vertical space, but honestly, not quite as much as I was hoping to based on the size of some of the cleaners and the fact that they were too tall for the bins. So it could honestly be a space I go back and revisit so that I can capitalize on some of the vertical space more so than I even did in this round of organizing. But overall, I was very pleased with how it looked and how functional it has been um, the past couple of days as I've been actually using what's underneath the sink and really liking it. He's always there for you. area I wanted to organize in the apartment was the linen closet slash kind of junk closet where everything that doesn't have a home goes. It's got cleaning products, it has extra paper products, honestly so many random papers, old electronics, kind of anything is fair game for what you can find in this closet. It has never been organized in the three plus years that I've been in this apartment and it's just getting more full with stuff. So much like under the sink, I wanted to use it as a chance to organize, but also to go through and get rid of anything that was old or expired or just needed to actually have a different home somewhere else in the apartment. items that didn't need to be in an organizer or a bin so all of the extra paper products a couple of the appliances extra pots and pans things like that so i went ahead and just stacked all of those items that could sit out by themselves neatly so that they would look nice but also they didn't necessarily need one of the home edit bins or a particular organizer instead i saved those to prioritize things like cleaners or more miscellaneous items that would fit better um, in a bin, like extra washcloths, things like that. I went ahead and used the pantry riser, which a lot of folks use for spices or um, extra cans in their pantry. I used this in the linen closet and I went ahead and did some cleaning products. They actually fit pretty nicely. The fact that I had some decent vertical space on the shelves um, allowed me to still fit full bottles on top of the risers. So I liked the size of them and I was able to store, I think nine cleaning bottles in total, which gave them a nice um, section in the closet and it didn't take up a lot of space. So 
cleaning products and bottles that didn't fit on the risers, the ones that were a little bit too tall, I went ahead and utilized the low ledge turntable. Um, that fit really nicely. There was plenty of room for all the bottles and it spins so easily that you can quickly find the cleaning product that you're looking for without having to dig through the riser or dig through just bottles kind of lined up on a shelf. So I was a really big fan of the way the turntable looked and the ease of use with it. Kiss the past goodbye I'm longing to live this Free life I've been hearing about You will see us howling Like wolves in the night Cause nothing is stronger Than wanting what you might get I said hey, yeah, yeah, yeah Call it a star by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts I said, hey, yeah, 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 follow the spark Ain't nothing but a one-way Ain't no way After organizing under the kitchen sink and organizing the entirety of my linen closet, I did not think that I would have any organizers left from those two home edit collections I had bought at Walmart. That said, I did still have two bins left over, which I was not expecting. So I decided, all right, this is a sign I should tackle the top shelf in the coat closet in kind of the front entry of the apartment. This, much like the linen closet, used to house things like just scarves and hats, um, a dust buster, but it has kind of become a dumping ground for anything that we now store in the coat closet or just random items that don't live somewhere else. So I took this as a chance to, again, clear everything out of that top shelf, look at it all, see what needed to stay, what needed to go, and then organize it using some bins, but also just some freestanding space. in the mud and just like that i organized three different spaces in my home for just fifty dollars um, I cannot recommend the Home Edit collection at Walmart enough. This is not sponsored. I have just been a big fan of the products and especially the price. So I hope this gave you some organization motivation to tackle something in your home that you are working on. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.